Did you resolve to get fit this new year? Not sure if sweating it out at the gym is right for you? Well, one Hong Kong company has the answer. Meet Autumn. Hi, my name is Autumn. Your personal trainer and dietitian in robot form. Inventor Corey Kidd says losing weight is an uphill struggle for most people because staying motivated can be tough. The average diet is very short. The big challenge for people is sticking with it you know, for months or years, so making a really long-term change. Now, the best way to do that that we know is to have a personal trainer, a personal coach. Now, it's not really practical. You know, it's expensive. Most of us don't have the time to do something like that. The robot tracks the dieters' progress. It asks what they've eaten, how much exercise they have done, and once a week, it records their weight. The robot then crunches the data and makes suggestions on how to achieve better results. And that feedback and advice and the whole conversation really gets tailored to each person over time. So it's not a script that she follows. No two conversations are alike. And the point is to help me stay motivated, stick with my diet day after day, week after week, month after month. And what we see is that it's very effective at doing that. Though similar dieting software is available for computers, Autumn claims to be the world's first interactive dieting robot. In his research, Kidd monitored a group of 45 overweight people for six weeks. He gave one group a robot, one group computer software identical to the robot's programming, and the last group a diary to log their diet and exercise regime. He found the group that was using Autumn kept to their diet, on average, at least five weeks longer. But in a Hong Kong gym, personal trainer Kenneth Wong said that the robot still can't beat the human touch. I think the robot can help people, but need to increase, um, how to say that? We cannot just use the robot. And what do the masses think about a robotic workout buddy? If this robot will help, help them to, to do uh, exercise at home, then it, I think it, it's, it's good for them. While these gym goers may not find staying fit tough, not everyone has it so easy. According to the World Health Organization, more than one billion of the world's adult population is overweight, with 300 million of these considered obese. For Reuters.com, I'm Julie Gordon.